G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, recently I did a video and I showed you how useful small boring bars are. In fact, they're not just useful, they are basically uh, something you just can't do without if you're doing any sort of model work. And how the bigger boring bars like this, which, you know, they look impressive and all that, but they can't do anything like what the little boring bars can do. You know, you're just not going to do anything with this if you're making models uh, and you want to get down to a really small uh, diameter hole, clean it up for a snug fit. Anyway, watch the video and you'll see what I mean. So anyway, these, this is one of the really, really small boring bars I've got. And one of the viewers said, hey, Rob, do you know that Banggood have got a set of really small boring bars there? In fact, they've got two sets. One is normal carbide. It's all car one piece carbide. And the other is uh, nano coated carbide. And I didn't actually know they were there. So I, uh, I had a look and I've asked for a set to be sent to me. Now, the thing with them is though that they have a round shank holder they don't you can't use them in this configuration they don't have a square a square shank on them so that means you have to have a boring bar holder for round shanks i do have one for the shear line but only for one size and all of my boring bars have got flats on them you know even this this one which is round has flats on it and the this one is one of a set that goes down to about I don't know, 5 mil I think, uh, 4 or 5 mil, and they've got flats on them. So that's a good idea, having the flats, you can use them in a four-way you know, tool holder, or you can use them in a round tool holder. And uh, anyway, these ones coming from Banggood won't have any flats on them. So today's mission is just to make up some mounting blocks. I mean, there's various ways you can do this. You can make up a whole new uh, four-way tool post holder and bore holes in it for various sizes. Or you can just make up some mounting blocks, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll show you how to do it, how easy it is, and we'll get on with it. Clean as a whistle. So we want four, five, six, eight mil. Four, five, six, eight mil. So now the next part of the job. This is where these little containers of grub screws that you can get from Bangla come in really handy. And they're top quality. I bought a number of these sets of grub screws and the little Allen header bolts for model making. They're fantastic and I didn't bother reviewing them. I think I might have reviewed some of the Allen Hatter bolts years ago, but uh, yeah, can't go wrong at the, at the price and the quality. So we'll use some of those, two of these in each of these blocks, and we'll go in and they'll pinch down on the boring bar and then the, the main screw downs in the four way and we'll pull down on them and uh, job done. It's going to be simple. So the uh, the length of them, as long as they don't stand proud, is won't really matter. So you know, let's get on with it. I decided to go with five mil grub screws. That'd be good enough. And for that, you need a 4.3 mil drill. But in metric, the closest I can get is 4.4. So I looked at the Imperial and I marked it up, and 4.274. That's pretty good. We'll try that. I'd rather go snug than loose. Not that it really matters. At the end of the day, uh, 
70% of your thread depth gives you about 90% strength anyway, so it's no big deal. But we'll, we'll go snug first and see how it taps and fits. And if it's no good, I'll just step up to the, the next drill size. So this is well, yeah, always mic your drills because they're all going to be different. You know, some will be on the money, a lot will be undersized. And you know also that when you drill, quite often the hole will be bigger than you want because of uh, misalignment in various components. So, yeah, micrometers, good things, get used to them. When you buy a drill press, always get one that's got a rotary table. That way you can position your work on two arcs that can intersect anywhere you want. Make sure it's got a rack, you can wind the stuff up and down. I mean, some of these so-called superior top brands don't have either of those features, and as far as I'm concerned, well, no, it's just a pain in the ass. You want one that's easy to use and you can position easily. And, yeah, this big old Taiwanese one I bought years ago second-hand does it all. It's the way to go. Perfect size hole. This is just mild steel. You don't need anything super hard to do this job. You can buy this square section from your local metal stockist. You'll have this in various sizes. Garbage day to day, you can hear the old garbage truck in the background. Yeah, we're there. Now we just give it a deburb with the original size drill, where the tap's gone through, and then we're we're done. Do it with a hand drill, it can find its own way and you'll find it will, uh, it will line up nice. Put in the grub screws and we're finished. Alright, there it is all done. I've put an end mill in it because I don't have the tiny little boring bars yet, Bangor still got to uh, get them to me. As you can see that's all there is to it and simply made, I put an end mill in it just to show you how it works. I only made these as long as the section of the of the boring bar that uh, you can use is and as there are only small boring bars you only need two of the actual pull downs to go onto them so you can see it will just sit in there like that and you should shim it for whatever height you want it'll be uh, quite adequate the little grub screws 
have pulled down just below the surface so the bolts that squash down on this block can't do any damage and uh, as this is hard and steel anyway I don't think that you're going to uh, do anything nasty to it so there you go simple job easy to make costs you a bugger all uh, just a bit of time where you put the grub screws is up to you I would rather have them out near the ends than in the middle because that way you're going to get less chance of any chatter uh, the boring bar is going to have a fair bit of leverage on it remember so I think you're better off just put them at the end and use a size that will sit just below the surface so now we just wait for the set of small boring bars to come from uh, Banggood and they're basically going to go from 2mm through to 8mm so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 they're the tiny little sizes that you want to do those tiny little jobs that I showed you previously in a video with this little boring bar so you want small stuff for small work and big boring bar is totally useless for that sort of work so yeah stay tuned and we'll see how good they are okay that's it from me hope you found it interesting see you next time cheers